shiny. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so can you tell the difference? Well, this side's really dirty anyway, so because <laughs> of all the stuff that it's kicked off. But yeah. <laughs> You can pretty much tell there's a big line. I don't know if it will come up on camera, but I'm sort of where my hand is. Yeah, no idea how that comes out on camera, but yeah. <laughs> right. Onwards. Mm. Hello. <laughs> oh. So I knew it was going to rip these up. I've just used cheap old ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good at that, one, especially on the front. <laughs> I think this is how they come to the uh, professionals, isn't it? You have one camera here, another camera there. <laughs> Professional YouTuber. Professionals. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> There's only one thing I'm professional at, and I get paid for that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's managing. <laughs> but can you manage? I can manage very well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> My team might not say so, but... <laughs> yeah. So I think before we've got a uh, picture or a video that shows uh, just how bad it was, especially mainly the bonnet and the side way, I think it was, so... Well, if you go to... The roof, that's probably the most telltale bit. Yeah, it's like I say, you got the, it's all pinky there, red there. <laughs> yeah, I remember we've got a video previously where we showed this. I think it was when you might have been doing your oil change, I think. Maybe. Can't remember, but yeah, it was one of the bonnet and it was a uh, bonnet between the wing. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so that is the first pass, and as you can see, it's looking an awful lot better. A lot less blue in it. Let me get a shot of that. Now, I know in the comments it's going to say, "Oh, you destroyed all those pads. You should have put masking tape on. You should have done this. You should have done that. You wouldn't have destroyed your pads." Yeah, I know. Very good point. And I totally agree. The thing is with this, it, it has edges all over the place. So I put those lights all back in the grill. Every single thing on this car is an angle. So, I just used old sacrificial pads just to get it done. So, yes, you're right. I should have taped things up. I should have done this and done that. If I was doing it properly, yes, I would have done. I love the same. All the pads I've got are sacrificial. They've been long used. And I didn't care about destroying them. I've got some new ones, so it really doesn't matter. But the next step now is um, get some finishing cut on there. The tea cut's quite hard, so now I'm just going to finish it off with some fine paste and then we'll give it a good waxing. In fact, I think the boy will give it a good waxing <laughs> <laughs> and um, it'll look like new. Well, new if it's what 32 years old? <laughs> it's uh, 23, I think, 23, 24, 23, 1996, so about 24 years, yeah. So, considering it's not that bad. Like I say, the paint was done before. It was done before you bought it, wasn't it? Yeah, um, quite a while ago, I think. Too right. expensive spray job. Um, there was a lot of bog in there. Uh, we've since chopped all that out, put new panels in. Uh, so all new sills. It's had uh, eight colours here. That's all new. Um, the floor is absolutely rock solid. The chassis, the floor, everything else underneath, absolutely rock solid. Uh, but there's just bits of bog below it down. Consider it's getting off the first years old. It ain't bad at all. Right, 
<sighs> you missed a bit. <laughs> Under the wing. <laughs> around the bits that uh, can't get in the machine. Just quickly hand replace them and, uh, and then it's time for a polish. Hey boy! Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, it's looking a lot, lot better. <laughs>